the Cyber Friends, this is Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music. We got another word for today. Nightcap edition, Saturday night, 11 o'clock. Give God the glory. Give Him honor and the praise for life, health, and strength. For as well as it is, people, it may not be all we want, but it's God knows we got all we need. Wanted to say, yes, like I said, give a shout out to the YouTube fam, from Baby Justice all the way up to Papa JT. Big Papa JT. Where's Mama JT? Y'all know the routine. We love you. And there ain't too much you can do about it. Also to our friends, buddies, and compadres, end time harvest game. Brother, brother Kingdom Knowledge, Brother Hot and Clear, Brother PP Drawing, Brother Orange Flavor, Brother, brother JT, Papa JT, all of us that makes up the circle and the game. I had a plan to come back tonight with the, the nightcap and uh, this morning I told y'all we, we discussed the 23rd Psalm Psalm of David and uh, Psalm of David back itching here and uh, David was one that didn't mind repenting he was swift to hear swift to repent he was a man after God's own heart and I was going to come back with some more relevant information on that topic of the same, but I ran across our brother, co laborer in the gospel, Brother G.A. Dalt, 2010. And he got some, uh, he run a series of videos, uh, new, some more some more enlightened details, people of persecution of Christians. And I advise everyone to go and check them out. You see, people. I agree with Brother Dog, 100%. Because we spend a whole lot of time on different stuff that really irrelevant. You know, um, talking about this and talking about that. And, but we need to get our mind on things of nature of uh, utmost importance. The one thing is about this here, worldwide persecution, Christian. I mean, it's common people. We might as well, and I, I mean, I love the old uh, brother Doc. Uh, he, uh, he he put it on point. It's this religious system that's soon to come. It's already in place, and I said it's, it's spreading at the speed of unsaved nation leaders. That's my take on it, because you got so many leaders that are unsaved. And they are welcoming this here type of activity. They're not doing anything to try to curtail it or to to stop it. Just like the guy over in Iran, they got the preacher over there. This uh, got him on. He's on like he, he's standing for his life. Uh, they want to kill him for his conviction because he will not renounce his faith in Christ. Well, people, if we sat back so casually. And said, well, you know, that's over there. Well, let me tell you something. That was a a man. He wasn't very well educated. And that was the song, I'm quite sure all of you know the song called A Bomb in Gilead. And that song, when they were singing the song in this in this here congregation, the old man was in there, and uh, when they went to sing, there's a bomb in Gilead. The old man said, well, if it's a bomb in Gilead, it won't be long before they have one over here. And I thought that was very funny. It's funny, it's funny. But if you think about it, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Remember, Martin Luther King said those words, and it's so very true. So what I am saying tonight, in these next few minutes, I... I got to go, I got to do a little traveling in the morning. I'm not going to my say so church of all uh, where I've been playing for the last few years. Things have capsided. People have been, God is moving and shaking people. That's all I can tell you. And it's just like what Brother Dog is saying about this religious system is trying to be set in play. Well, both small and great. We all know what is headed to the Antichrist. We know that. But we must be aware. 
And like I said, I must go and I must travel out of town in the morning, do a church service in another area north of me here. Going, but I just had to stop by. And when I looked at that video, with brother Doc, brother Doc had some on point video, relevant information, timely information. In other words, information that we need to wake up as Christians. He gave us an admonishment, and people, he's telling us the truth. We need to wake up as Christians. We are asleep. We are worrying about all this penny in and stuff that don't really matter. We need to get about. Our father's business about the business at hand. That's this. All this young, all this unrest is coming upon this world, and it's going to come against Christian. That's the main thing. It's going to come against Christian. But we know, and I always refer back to um, the beginnings. The first attempt to have a one world government, which we know it'll never work, was at the Tower of Babel. That's when the Nimrod, and, you know. They tried to build this tower. They was trying to get a way that, to avoid uh, another flood from sweeping everybody away. And this tower would go all, reach all the way up into the heavens. And God confused and confounded their languages so mankind could spread all over the world as God's intentions were. So that was the first attempt at world, one world government and, or religion as you want to call it. But it's all about religion, people. So... I take my hat off to Brother G.A. Dog, 2010, and I'm encouraging the End Time Harvest Gang uh, to check it out, post, post some of it on the blog. Matter of fact, post all of it on the blog. If uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until tomorrow afternoon when I get back, and then I'll check it out, and I'm going to see can I do some posting myself of all of those uh, videos of Brother Dog, the Daniel Visions, as well as these uh, persecution of Christians, Christian, as well as the Raptor series, all all those are very relevant. See, it's about kingdom building and advancing the God's kingdom because the devil is trying to build his kingdom. And and this world, people, is going and headed in one direction. And they are headed toward this here man of sin. And Christian, we are asleep and we up here beating each up, beating up each other over the head with our Bible. We fighting and fussing it among ourselves in our churches and stuff, and the devil just going on all with the rest of the people. So I'm with Brother G.A. Dawk, and I'm going to ask all the end time harvest gang, people, let's, let's put aside all this just craziness. I see so much of it. People don't want to, people don't want to help, don't want to, all of us is in this thing for the same reason, and supposedly, and let's, let's, say, let's see can we get this here message out to the masses. They were doing his job, so we as children of God, we need to be on our job. Like Brother G.A. Dog said, we can sit around and stay asleep. This stuff going to overtake you so quick, it's going to make your head swim. So we need to be prepared, like my brother from Kingdom Knowledge. We need to be prepared, and we need this kind of information, and we need to stop going around with all these little old penny anything, talking about this and that, which don't even matter. Let's get people saved and into the kingdom of God, and let's fight against Satan and his kingdom. That's what it's all about. So with that being said, this is Mitty Man saying that we hope all of you have a good worship experience in the morning. Those that are going out to the house of prayer, hope you enjoy, hope you be enlightened, hope you get delivered, set free. This is Mitty Man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God isn't in it, you know it's best that we get out of it. This is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.